Hey friends, happy new year. Just uh, wanted to uh, share a bit of information that um, I found out this past week. I recently attended the 2023 housing forecast, which was put on by the Realtors Association of Edmonton. And uh, so a couple of things that I wanted to share with you. We all know what happened when the world shut down with COVID. And then this past year, 2022 uh, was a little bit of a challenge as well. Started off with the, uh, the war between Russia and Ukraine, which the world took notice. Uh, of course, we've had some supply chain disruption. So if you have been trying to buy a car or appliances, it has been taking a very long time. Uh, another thing, of course, was <laughs> inflation. <laughs> we are currently at about a, a 40 year high. We're sitting at about 6.3% and we're expected to go down to around 2%. Bank of Canada, of course, stepped in and they've raised interest rates seven times. Yes, seven times last year. And on the 25th of January, they are going to announce uh, what they're going to do, uh, which we anticipate it'll be another quarter percent. So if you've been watching TV uh, and you know, especially the national news, it all sounds doom and gloom and gosh, what are we gonna do? Um, the sky's falling. But I'm here to say it's actually not. When you hear national numbers, take that with a grain of salt because what it, it doesn't do is it doesn't reflect Alberta numbers, true Alberta numbers. So yes, has the market shifted? It did but it always does in the fall. Cyclically, spring is our busiest time. And then of course, fall is not so busy. You know, you're looking at um, growth. When you listen to the numbers, the Canada numbers are about 1%. Alberta, we did a lot better. We did 1.9%. And so overall, I mean, compared nationally, Alberta still remains strong, despite what you're hearing in the news. Uh, you're looking at net migration. You know, there are still people moving here. They need jobs. We have them and they are still moving here. And it's expected to grow. Net migration is expected to grow about 2.4% this year. Uh, these people, when they come here, they're going to need homes. And right now, that's what we are. We're getting a lot of calls from uh, places like BC and Ontario. Uh, they're looking to move here and uh, they've got jobs lined up and they're they're looking for a place. So a recent report from the government of Alberta found that it, in Alberta today, it takes about 21 weeks to, of work to pay the annual mortgage payment on an average home on the resale market. This is about 41% lower than the national average of 36 weeks. In BC, you're looking at about 50 weeks and in Ontario, about 46 weeks. So that tells you something. When you look at listings, we still have a low inventory supply. A lot of people put things off because of COVID. So you're gonna see those people obviously making a move. So whether you are, you know, downsizing, whether you are looking for an investment property, you know, whether you just want a new home or more space, it's going to happen this year. Overall, we are positioned well with good economic prospects, positive net migration and affordable home prices. As always, if you have any real estate related questions, I'd be happy to help answer them. Reach out anytime. And again, wishing you a happy 2023 and all the best and I hope to talk to you soon.